The lake is down for the winter. The lighting is going to be a whole bunch different today. Go out to the main part of the lake and on to uh, Morristown. You know, this might be a nice place to bring my I'm doing a little bit of a quicker walk. I was here yesterday, got the video, that was junk, but the pictures were somewhat decent. So I'm going to rewalk this to the best of my memory. But I am 72 and I am old and I don't remember to think sometimes. the sun's coming through that cloud very nice there's still a little bit of color in the trees yet this is the 29th of October this month is almost done with Everything is pretty much just burnt orange. In the trees, so. And I went through here. Yep, there's my footy prints. not used today anymore so you know what I'm doing I'm pausing a bit on areas that I see that I think are notable
I think I went all the way down to here. Yep. Saturday of October. Yeah, I went up here. I remember now. Eleven W is right there. Sun on the end of that island. With that blue skies. Wow. Hmm. Good looking. And motorcycles are out here today. I used to do that. But I'm 72, I don't need the broken bits that I would suffer. And I wouldn't ride them and do them justice today. I'd spend too much time putting around. I hope you're having fun because I remember I rode bikes, I had a lot of fun. Rode for a lot of years, raced for a couple years. Sun's looking pretty nice. Nice. I 
I'm not wearing my waterproof boots like I did yesterday. During the summer, I think maybe if I could keep myself down, I water would be just above my eyes. but they're not having they need to find a jump place this all wasn't exposed during the early 40s when the dam was built and the lake was created but as over time and the soil has been eroded due to water tree roots have been exposed and they've just been finding a way to persevere Indian chief from Josie Wales persevere Yeah, we went up this way the other time, so we might as well go up this time, this way this time too. Let's do a little 360 kind of thing. This is not even close to being exhausted. Exhausting. I wonder sometimes what gets uh, trapped on this island in the spring when the waters are allowed to rise back to uh, normal heights. It's not quite as slick as it was yesterday. Beautiful yellow tree in the woods. The uh, evergreens is kind of keeping it protected from the high winds and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do a duck. First time I was here four years ago, I had to do a duck. The waters weren't quite this low. Over there is a Civil War battlefield cemetery. I say a little bit higher.
hoping it's not quite so muddy up here. One of the things I'm missing is the extra ankle support of my waders. They're waterproof boots, they're not the low tops or high tops. You can almost see Moorestown from here. Keep on moving. We're on the east side, shady side of the island right now this time of day. There you go. Some things that grow in the wild. That's a persimmon tree. One of those little known, little used fruits that are very tasty at the right time of the year. Now, that island right out there, if you swing around, is unaccessible without a boat and there are sections on it you can't see when the lake's up can you imagine running through there and at somewhat of a speed and run into them as i understand it i may have the wrong terminology but there's uh, water topographical maps of the lake that you can get, waterproof, store on your boat. That way you won't do that. Learn to read the map. Let's spend a little more 360, it's a short, it's like three quarters of a mile. So I think it's only about a half mile around the island. Maybe four tenths, not five tenths. There's a, uh, what appears to me to be an earthen embankment. Uh, up in that area overlooking that valley so that's basically a gap there and I could see soldiers of either side with cannons ready to defend the area There's a lot of animal prints in places. I don't see any deer. There are some uh, dog. 
possum, raccoon, skunk, stuff like that. Because again, I'm going to say it because you know I'm going to. You're in the wilderness out here. Much of what you see is wilderness. Very few home sites. Very few humans. There's some along uh, 11W, of course, but you go a few hundred feet to the south and a few hundred feet to the north and mankind is not there. There's a nice, awesome red tree. It's pretty much stripped in places. There you go. That was not lit like that yesterday because the sun was high. This was not lit like this yesterday because the sun was uh, high and to my right. Let's kind of go up and have a look-see at this. We've had at least two good frost. Not a killing type that you... does your garden in. It's the kind that does your flowers in. skies that main ridge line you see back there that's uh clinch mountain range Do a little 360, catch some lake views and the rock views, a little sun view, some clouds. Stand up now. This was interesting yesterday. It's got kind of a curve to it. Very interesting. It's not often you see uh, clamshells around this island. You may see them on others, but not this one. And my footprints again. nice tree it's bent over a 
many options on the bends. Maybe another tree fell on it, bent it over, and now that tree's gone. Maybe it's been weakened due to the water and the weight of itself bent it over. Sasquatch may have done that to direct you into his lair so he'll have a happy meal. Or the Indians did it. There's all kinds of stories. Tell about what happens and what hasn't. Yeah, there's my uh, shadow. The shadow nose. What he knows. And what he doesn't know, he doesn't know. The shadows are getting a bit long. I'll probably have to drive back with the sun in my eyes. Welcome to the world of photography. And yes, I never come out here if I'm not carrying I carry you whenever I'm out here. I should have went the other way, shouldn't I? I should have done a 360. Okay, I'll do a 360 this way then. West side of uh, Battlefield Island. All the various rocks. Evergreens. Hickory's maples. And we're on the dry stuff. Let's do a 360 to the right. Yeah, there's that shadow guy again. Shadow people. Watch them. Watch out for the shadow people. They get you every time. The scary thing is if you're standing there and you got two shadows, you might as well just figure yourself dead. Yeah, I'm a Doctor Who fan. There you go. The library. Just so you know which episode. There we go. We have the trees reflecting in the water. It's so calm. That's pretty good. Can you imagine a week ago, a week and a half ago, when everything was yellow and red? Ooh, wow. There you go, should have been out here, but I wasn't. One of those cases of should have, would have, could have, didn't. I've been coming out here several times every year and I learned something new right there. If I make it to 73, I will put that on my mental list. Keep tabs on this when it's down low enough, come out one evening and everything's all red and yellow. Mid-October. Wow. Well, 
Are you already? Turn around, look behind you, Terrence. Cross the island one more time over the lake.